Buka iwa bano vina mabuka. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hmm. What they offer now, la la ringi ya kuishilati. The video has been uploaded. All right. So let's go. So let's not waste much of the time. So like I told you that pH one ten. Okay. I told you about um, units and measurement and measurements then also vectors or rather scalars and vectors scalars and vectors so on units and measurement i think i tackled a lot of things in chemistry i told about how to convert you know those things and the likes significant figures decimal places and the likes i talked about all those things so in physics I'm only under units and measurement. I'm only going to tackle dimension analysis. Then from there I go to vectors. Very sharp, 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 sharp. All right. So let's let's start. Units and measurement. Under dimensional, that is dimensional analysis. All right. So dimensional analysis. What do you need to know? Firstly, its definition. So we said dimension analysis. This is uh this is an analysis that deals with what the relationship between three fundamental fundamental quantities. And these are fundamental quantities. We've got mass, length, and time. Mass is represented by capital letter M in dimension analysis under dimension analysis. Length, capital letter L, then time, capital letter T. All right. So everything that we are going to discuss will be based on this. That's it. So then, from there, you need to know its applications. When they say applications, they're talking about it, where, like, its uses. We talked about a lot of things. You guys need to know these things. We said, um, you know, you to find the units of physical quantity or given system of the units, all those things. We talked about a lot of things. So you need to know there are about five of them. I sent that in the document. Then, uh, three, you need to know the two principles. Two principles of dimension analysis, where we talked about if you are multiplying and the convenient, all those things. And also talked about it, to say the dimensions on the right hand side must be equal to the dimensions of the left hand side, all those. So num number four, you need to know its limitations. When they say limitations, it's at disadvantages. It can have applications and it can be used, but it has got also some disadvantages. So that's the thing. So let's go straight to the exam question. We don't want to waste time. Mm -hmm. All right, question. So the question that we're going to pick, I think I'm going to refer to the question that I sent in the document, that document, EMA notes. So the question is said, the period T, which is the period T of the, uh, of the oscillation of a simple pendulum is assumed to depend on its length. So this period depends on its length represented by, represented by L then it also depends on mass represented by m then also on acceleration due to gravity which is acceleration due to gravity represented by g then they tell you to say use dimensional analysis to drive an expression of the period wow so use the dimension analysis so here how do we go about this just think about it think about it Right, so we do like this from the statement that has been given. We've been taught to say the period of the pendulum depends. You put this as symbol depends directly on what the the length. Then I'll introduce x as the power, or you can put a b c. It's up to you. When I say length to the power x, then it also depends on uh, mass. M, I'll put to the power one. Then it also depends on grab uh, acceleration due to gravity, which is G. Then I'll put Z. Have you seen? When I write like that, my the question has asked me to find the to find the dimension. I mean to to find the expression of this period. The how this period will be in terms of uh, dimension analysis. So T, I will remove this and put an equal sign. I'll say T is equal to 
length to the power x, mass to the power y, acceleration due to gravity to the power z. When I put like this, okay, I'm going now to express this in their dimensional way. Length, it's just L like that. Mass, it's just M like that. Gravity, we know that to say gravity or the acceleration, first side, side lesson, we know to say gravity is equal to mass times Z, I mean, uh, M, M to, 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 this is, the, I mean, these are the, the units, okay, meters per second squared, okay? So meters per second squared, I can also write it as meters per second to the power negative two. Mathematically, not so. Fine, we can write it like this, when this, because the smallest like M over S. So when this one comes to the, to comes here, it will be M S to the power negative two. So I'm going, instead of writing it like this way, I'm going to write it in this way. So we wrap this, we get back to the question. So I'll write to say T is equal to the dimension of length to the power X, the dimension of M to the power Y, then gravity, we say this meters per, meters per second squared. So meters is length. Then second squared is time. So I'll say leo t to the power negative 2. Have you gotten this point? We said gravity is represented by the, the units for gravity or the acceleration is meters per second squared. Meters, its length. Remember, dimension analysis, we're only dealing with three. One mass, two time, three, a length. So if they tell me to say meters per second, this is not mass, it's distance, meters per second squared, meters its length. So I'm going to put L instead of M as meters is the one that I'm going to write here under G. Then seconds its time. So I'm going to put capital letter T to the power two because it's meters per second squared. It's not the velocity where we say meters per second. Uh -uh, it's meters per second squared because it's acceleration. So I'm going to say t to the power negative 2. To the power z outside the box because there is x, y, z. All right. So let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go, team. So from here, I'll say t is equal to l to the power x as length, then meters to the power y. Then this z would be distributed to l and t. So I'll say l to the power z, then t to the power negative 2z. Have you seen? When I do like this, then I'll say I'm having two l's, then I also have m, then t. So I can say t is equal to these who add according to the rules, yama. What topic is that? Anyway, in mathematics, we we'll add indices to say when the bases are same, you 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 add the what? More or less like here we we'll add the powers x plus z l. Then I will have m. Okay, I will have m. I will have m. This M is having Y as its power. Then I'll have T. T is having negative 2 to the power Z. Have you seen? I have these things at my finger, at my fingerprint. So remember, we are dealing with three mass, length, and time. These. So, meaning, according to the principle of homogeneity of dimension analysis, the dimensions on the left hand side must be equal to the dimensions of right hand side. So what do we do? Uku, uku we have length, mass, and time, but see, but here we all have time. So I will assume length here is to the power zero, and also time here is to the power zero. Then t, this t is to the power one, is equal to. Then I will write this. I will say l x plus z m to the power y, then t, negative 2, z. Have you seen? Then I will equate this. Let me use the red marker here. I want you guys to get clearly. Simple stuff here. Your job is just to smile. So this l will go with this. 
according to dimensional um, uh, principle of homogeneity. Then this T will go with this T. Okay? In fact, uh, yeah, T. Then here, this, I mean, this is M. So this M must go with this M. Okay? Then this T must also go with that T. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do like this. I'll say L to the power 0 is equal to L to the power 0 is equal to L to the power X plus Z. This is 1. Then number 2, I will have M to the power 0 is equal to M to the power Y. Okay? Then T to the power 1 is equal to E achibako first is equal to T to the power negative 2Z. I have 1, 2, 3. Okay? 1, 2, 3. Hope we now we can master these things. So from here, we are going now to equate more or less like we cancel these. We cancel these. So that we just remain with powers to say x plus z is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, then z is equal to 2, I mean 1 is equal to negative 2z. That's what we are going to do here. I'm going to wrap you guys. Hope you, you've mastered this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm? Mr. Sean Tembo. All right. <clears throat> so let's go. So we said, we, we remained with, we equated to say, uh, uh, what we had in the first place is x. So we said x is equal to zero from the things that we made as equation one. Then equation two, we had the, uh, y which was under l y plus z is equal to zero all right then from there we said or under three we said one that work on summer tt is equal to negative two z so now we need to find we need to solve this simultaneously we find the value of x y and z just think about it think about it how are we going to do x is already 0. Fine. Here I've got 1, I've got negative 2. So I can make z the side of the formula by dividing negative 2 throughout. So I will say 1 is equal to negative 2 z. Alright? Over negative 2, over negative 2. I will cancel. z is equal to negative half. Have you seen? Negative half. So in short, I have this. Okay. I have this z is equal to negative half. Navi kanasunga. Then from there, x is equal to zero. I already have. So what do I have? I have what what's remaining? X I have, z I have. What is remaining? Y. Then I'll use this to find y. So I'll say I'll say y is equal to don't but when answering you shouldn't be putting these lines i'm just teaching you guys okay just shown them on the way okay people so y y plus z is equal to zero here you put negative half on z so y minus this will become minus minus um negative i mean minus minus half already why have I introduced minus? Because here there was a plus, but here already there's a negative. So negative times positive is negative. So I'll put half is equal to zero. So y is equal to positive half. So y is equal to positive half. I have these three. One, two, three on my finger tips. So from there, I'm going to proceed. I'm going now to replace. I'm not going to rub these things. So now, remember, what did we have? We had something like t is equal to constant. It had k that I told you, constant, then uh, it was depending di directly on length, then mass, and also gravity. gravity. So now, t, uh, t, period of the pendulum, is equal to k. Length, which is l. In this case, we had... Uh, 
okay let me let me let me just get back to x y z x was on which which letter x was on m so m m m so you guys need to write this in advance so that they don't confuse you you put them where they are supposed to be anyway when you replace you replace you replace you're going to discover that t is equal to k open the brackets l over g meaning length because I'm having okay so this is length between these two there must be length and the acceleration due to gravity because i never put that into consideration so i'm going to say half okay i'm going to say half this zero where there is a zero meaning it will cancel meaning it's one we can ignore so we just rely on this so t is equal to k anything raised to the power half can be uh, put in what as the square so it will be l over g this is the answer so why i've made the short shortcut here is because i never labeled the i never labeled which one was like in this as in i didn't label whether mass became or was the first one or after length or the like so so i just went direct but you guys when answering you must make sure to say okay the answer that i've gotten x was x on m or l if it was on m meaning m or zero all those you know what i'm talking about this time that's all that's all about the dimension analysis let's proceed to vectors there's no time vectors so scalars and vectors by its definition we know to say a scalar is the quantity that has got only the magnitude and doesn't have the direction wow a vector is the quantity that has got both direction and magnitude. Why do you need to know about these two? So, under this topic, we only give you the examination things, you guys. So, we've got the first thing. You have to find the resultant and the direction. Resultant is always given by resultant is equal to x squared, y squared. If possible, in some cases, now 3D, there's also z squared, plus, plus. All these things this is the resultant then direction when they say direction they're talking about the angle so you say theta is equal to tan inverse then y over x this then you read from the you read your answer or rather interpret your answer from the positive x axis i'll show you how to do it then terminologies we'll run through the terminologies then from there finding the magnitude and angle of the 3d based vectors we'll go through then scalar product, which is also called dot product. So scalar, the formula is A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B, then cos theta. So that's the thing. So this is a dot product. So this one mostly is used when finding the angle. If they tell you to say, can you find the angle which is between two vectors? You use this formula. Then lastly, we need to talk about the vector product, which is denoted by a b. This is the vector product. So let's proceed now. We'll go straight to the questions and answers. We don't have time to explain a lot of things. It will consume and eat your bundles. Let's now look at the terminologies. These terminologies are very important, you know, when reading the angles and the likes. So if they tell you to say the angle, okay, for example, at 20, Okay, 20 is located at an angle of uh, 45 north of east. This is where you guys got confused. 20 newtons is located at an angle 45 degrees north of east. So the mnemonic that you can use here, guys, is the last person you date is the person you that you start with the journey of my marriage the last person you date is the last is the person that you start the journey with in marriage meaning the last direction that i'll mention is the one that i'll start reading from for example here is the compass this is our right the compass right fine so when you label this compass we've got north we've got south we've got east we've got west Let's proceed, Bani. Let's proceed. So, those things. East is here. So, the angle is north of east. So, meaning it was north of east. So, when reading 
I will start with the last person that I'm dating, going that side. So I will say it's in between of these two. So I'm going to draw any random based line. So I'm going to start reading from east. Then I'll go to pa, meaning this angle 45 is here. Now, every angle must be read from the positive x-axis. For positive x-axis is this, my one, too. We can say vanya. In Roderick's voice. So, it has to start from here going that side. So, here, since it's here, don't worry. This is the angle itself. Okay? This is the angle itself. So, in short, the angle here is 45. Don't add, don't subtract anything. To Allah, we to watch that. Subtract, now add. Hope that has been understood. The last person you date is the person that you start with your marriage journey. So, north is the one that I dated at first. Then I ended up with the east. So, I'm going to start the journey with east going to north. It's a mnemonic. It can you look useless, but it will help you remember. All right. So, we proceed. What if we've been given north of west okay so they tell you to say 135 is located at the north of west north south east west okay north of west so i'm going to start from west going to north i will draw a random line so i'm going to say pa here so the angle 135 is here now this is not the angle every angle must be read from the positive x-axis going to that angle this is the positive x-axis so i'm going to draw my chima line here Bam, boom. i reach here all right so when i reach here now note that this is the compass in mathematics this is 90 this is zero this is 180 this is 270 all right so any angle which is falling here, upper, it's 180. It has to be dealt with we, with 180. Then you move 90, then you move to 70, then 360, just like that. So now, in a situation whereby, how do you know to say you want to subtract or add here? If the directions, for example, you are going this side, to Achilayo, this is where you are going. And this positive x-axis, so it's more or less like the arrows are going like this. Quite fiai, fiai punka so. You need to subtract. Very important in HH's voice. Very important. So you need to subtract here. All right. So here it's 180 because I'm in the region of 180. This this is the region. All students take chamber. So uh, it's one. So I'm going to say 180 minus 135. All right, so when I punch on my calculator, where is the calculator? Calculator. Okay, it's here. So I'll say 180 minus 135. So that's 45. So 45 is the angle that I'm going to pick. Now forget completely about this 135. I will focus on 45 because this angle has been read from the positive axis, x-axis going that side. So that's the thing. All right, let's proceed. Meaning you can do the rest to this air shell. What is important? Eh? Anyway, let's just go through that. South, south of west. This is south, this is west. So south of west. I will draw the random line south of west. I've mentioned west at the end. So I'm going to start moving from west, going to what? To south. Yaikalap. So since Naikalap, I will start reading this angle from the positive x axis. I will do like this. Pa. Have you seen? So now the arrows are more or less like this. It's a continuation. Here you add. Have you seen? This one, it happened. This one. Here you add. So what are you adding? You are adding this, the entire 360 to this angle that you've been given, which is, for example, if they said it was like 20, if they said 20 is located at south of west. So I'm going to say this entire 180 
plus this 20. So it will be 200. That will be the angle that I will deal with. That's how we read the angles. Hurry up. You do the rest. So in short, what is important is if I've been given something like this, if the angle is like this, meaning if it was going to be like this, then I start reading from me. Pum, what if you have pum kana so? Subtract this, okay? The, this angle, meaning region here 270. Yeah, 270. Meaning I'll say 270 minus this angle, nganyuku is 360. Okay? If I had something like this, pa, then it this it's 360 minus this given angle. But if it was going to go like this, for example, starting from here to go this side, then this one finds here. Okay? It will be this 270 270 plus this angle. Plus, for example, 20, I'm going to put 20. That's how we read. We are going to demonstrate in the questions. Let's go to the okay. Another thing. Remember, I said. This is 270, this is uh, 0, this is 90, this is 180. So if this, this is south, north, east, and west. So if they tell me to say due north, if they are talking about this angle, due north, it's 90. Due east, it's this, just speak straight. Don't even read from the positive axis. It's 0. Due south, it's this. Then due west, it's 1.8. Sharp. Very, very simple. Sharp one. We proceed. Okay. Mm -hmm. What now? Let's let's now uh, go to the to the to the question that that I gave in the in the assignment. Okay. So the question, question three, it was saying. The three finalists in contest are brought to the center of the large flat field. Each is given a meter stick, a compass, a calculator, shovel, and the and the following three dis displacements. So forget about the English. Just focus on the important things. What you need to deal with. So the first thing is seventy two point four, okay, meters, thirty two point zero degrees. East of north here. You can just end from here. You interpret this. Forget about this first. Deal with the, the angle and the direction. You draw the compass. Just be humble and draw the compass. This is south. This is north. This is east. This is what? This is west. All right. So here, they have told you east of north. The last person you date is the first is the person you carry on with your journey. So I'm going to start from north. So east of north. I'm going to start from north going towards east. I'm going to start from here going this side. So I'll draw the random line here. When I draw, I'll say pa like this. So now here I need to read this. This angle is different from the one which started from the positive x-axis. If it's not connected to the positive x-axis read it from here so in this case it's this this is where 32 is 0 0.0 degrees so now how do i read from the positive x-axis i will draw the line starting from here boom okay i can even extend to here now the lines are more or less like like this quite so what do we do subtract which region are you in you are in this region for 90 so we say 90 minus this angle that has been given 32.0. So when I get my calculator, I'll say 90 minus 32.058. So meaning the angle that I'm going to, to deal with this is 58, is the one that I'm going to do with 72. All right, so we have. We proceed. I've got the data. So when I rub, I feel in the external rub midway and hope feeling quick. All right. So then next is 57.3 meters at the angle of 66.0 south of west. South of west. 
the last person you date is the one that you start with him with a journey so south of west north south east west okay so south of west it's south of west so i'm going to start from here going towards sir south i'll draw the random line south of west so i'm going to start pa read from the positive x-axis this is negative x-axis now the angle must be read from the positive x-axis so what do we do i'm going to start from here pa like this the lines are less like this what do we do add add so the angles given was 36 which region are you in you are in the region of 180 so you are going to say 180 plus this comma small thing so 180 plus 36 so when i get my calculator calculator plus 36 is 216 so i'll forget about this 36 and i'll start dealing with 216 these will become my focus now these one and this the last angle then we draw the table we are going just to do this example the rest we'll do them in physical because you know you guys this is almost 30 minutes this video all right so 17 17.8 meters then straight south this is straight simple south and east. so i said it's 270 when there's just a straight north straight south and straight water it's just there so just pick 270 and put it there that's all pretty very simple all right let's see let's proceed so now when you collect the date of that kind now Mune, if you want to fail physics don't sketch or don't draw the table where necessary otherwise you fail if you don't do that you fail so you've got vector a vector b and vector c so you draw the table like this you say vector then here x component or x comp then y comp you even say vector isn't of necessary anyway you can just say vector then x comp then y comp like that so vector a the data that i had collected in the first place it of kuchita that's the one that i'm going to start entering so add 72.4 x always use cos then y always use sign always so 72.4 and then x always use sign then you put the answer here then here same details but here you just change where there is cos you put sign 72.4 sign 38.66 when you punch on your calculator oh no this is the answer this is the sorry kali add i've already written somewhere so that i don't waste time yeah and i won't be punching so it was supposed to be cos 58 that angle after you subtracted then he also here signing 58 so the one that i wrote was the answer 38.366 the document that i've sent here when you punch sign and the likes in fact it's in cos is here so you just say for example 72 Point four, and you guys need to have the calculators. Cos fifty eight. It's thirty eight. This one thirty eight point three six six is the one that we put here. Also cos, it will it will show you. So cos sixty one point three nine nine. You proceed to vector b. Vector b, the magnitude was seventy two point three. Then you say cos. 216 that angle that you found after performing your reading from the positive x-axis 57.3 sign 216 what is changing here is just this then answer here it was negative 
0.354. Don't be surprised when these give you negative. It's very normal, 100% normal. Okay. Then C, we had 17.8 as the magnitude causing 270, the one that we picked. Then, then here, 17.8 sin 270. Then when you punch sin 270 is 0, I mean cos is 0, then here it's sin 271. These are special angles, remember? Then here it's negative 1 to say. So it will be negative 17.8. Then when you do like this, when you're done, here you put resultant. So resultant in X. Wait, now you add this minus this. In fact, this plus this plus this. But if it has got the negative, you can even go direct. This minus this plus this. When you perform all those things, the answer that we were getting is negative 7.99 in X. Then in Y, positive 9.8. 92. All right. When you have those things, you now use these, only these. You forget about these chaps. They become now nothing, nothing. All right. So, I hope I'm not even rubbing in your minds and heads. From there, then you say, therefore, resultant is equal to the square root of the resultant in x squared plus the resultant in y squared okay from there then you say resultant you you plug in negative 7.99 squared plus 9.92 squared resultant is equal to when you punch you punch you punch you punch it was giving 12.74 meters don't forget them if they have given feet put feet meters meters that's the thing now the direction Direction is now theta is equal to tan inverse ry over rx. So theta is equal to tan inverse. Forget about the negative. That negative from y, y component, forget about it. Or x to say 9.92 over 7.99. When you punch on the calculator, those that do not know how to perform the, the, the inverse, you start first shift. You say shift, then you say turn. Open the brackets. Then you punch in 9.92 divide by, um, divide by 7.99. So it was giving 51 degrees. Now, this 51 that you found is not the final answer. Why? It was going to be a final answer if we x component was positive and y component was positive. But x component was uh, negative while x, y was positive. So, what you do is this 51 that you found, okay? This 51, you use a hard theorem, as I may call it, to say this. This is positive, this is negative, this is, yeah, this is negative. Then this is positive, this is negative. So, y was positive, meaning it's this. You get? It's this region where the y, y, y component was positive. Then x component was negative, meaning it's this. So, this angle that we found here, this 51, is falling under these two regions. From you attach it to x, you get so meaning it's somewhere here 51. Now every angle must be read from the positive x axis. So we are going to read from here, going this side. Bah. And remember, we are reading it from x to this. So we are in the region of 180. So you say 180 minus 51. When I punch on my calculator here, it's see. Uh, so 180 minus 51, it's 129, 129. This is the final answer, 129 read from the positive x-axis. Because x is actually negative, 7 point stuff stuff, meaning it was in the negative. Then y 9.99 positive, it was this, meaning this angle 51 that you found, it is falling under this. And it has to be attached to the x-line, 
So meaning always you go this ID. Then read from the positive x axis, it's this. So remember what we've said in the village that so you need to subtract. So for the meanwhile, guys, I'll end from here. I'll continue tomorrow. I will lecture on the remaining topics of I will emphasize, I'll, I'll repeat another example. Then also talk about uh, you know dot products, product products and the likes. For the meanwhile, shalom. Bye bye.